Owens Corning Roofing is committed to providing quality products that are easy to sell and install. One such product is our Pro Armor Synthetic Roofing Underlayment with Slip Resistant Fusion Back Coating Technology. In this video, we will cover the process of how to properly install Pro Armor Underlayment. When it comes to doing a job right, few things are as important as reliable product performance and safety of the crew. Owens Corning's exclusive Fusion Back Coating Technology paired with an industrial non-woven surface provides excellent walking conditions even on steep pitch roofs. Pro Armor Underlayment is strong, durable, and repels water. It's lightweight and available in 42 inch wide rolls. As with any roofing job, before getting started make sure you have proper safety equipment. Failure to use proper safety equipment and footwear can result in serious injury. This video is designed to complement the written Owens Corning installation instructions for Pro Armor Underlayment found by visiting owenscorning.com forward slash roofing. Please use the written installation instructions in conjunction with this video to ensure a correct installation. Owens Corning Pro Armor Synthetic Roof Underlayment should be applied to a properly prepared dry deck that is smooth, clean, and free from any depressions, projections, or protruding nails. Roof decks should be structurally sound and meet or exceed minimum requirements of the roof deck manufacturer and local building codes. Pro Armor Underlayment is designed for use under asphalt shingles only and must be covered within 30 days of application. If the roof will not be covered with asphalt shingles on the same day, Pro Armor Underlayment must be attached to the roof using plastic or steel cap fasteners having a minimum 1 inch diameter cap. Roofing nails and pneumatic nail guns may be used for same day installations for all slopes. Staples may be used for same day installations on slopes 212 to 1212. All fasteners should be driven straight and flush with the surface. Fasten in both the overlapping area and the field area of Pro Armor Underlayment. Additional fasteners may be required in high wind regions. Consult local building codes for fastener type and spacing requirements in these geographies. If two or more pieces are required to continue a course, lap the ends at least four inches. End laps in the succeeding course should be located at least six feet from the laps in the preceding course. Lap Pro Armor Underlayment a minimum of six inches from both sides over all hips, ridges, and valleys. Always lay Pro Armor Underlayment parallel to the eaves. For slopes greater than 412, lap each course at least three inches over the underlying course. For same day coverage, Minimum fastening locations for roofing nails, pneumatic nail guns, staples, and cap nails are shown in the written instructions. On lower slope applications from 212 to 412, begin by fastening a 22 inch wide strip of Pro Armor underlayment along the eaves with the minimal fasteners needed to hold the course in place. Place a full width sheet over the 22 inch course with the long edge placed along the eaves and completely overlapping the initial starter course. All succeeding courses will be a minimum of 42 inch wide and should be positioned to overlap the preceding course by 22 inches. Remember that Pro Armor Synthetic Roof Underlayment is also a component of the Owens Corning Total Protection Roofing System, giving you the assurance that all Owens Corning Roofing components are working together to help increase the performance of the roof and to enhance the comfort and enjoyment of those who live beneath it. For more information about Pro Armor Underlayment and other roofing accessory products, visit owenscorning.com forward slash roofing or call 1-800-GET-PINK.